Oki. Mwadha ni angoswa lege. Hare toa. Kama vile muna njua. Mina itua Elda Mushai. Nimeyokoka Yesu ni buwana. Mungu amekuwa na mimi. Hata wakati kama huu. And that's why I would want first and foremost. Kumshukuru Mungu. Vile amenitende ya sofa. My wife Akopale, Mama Sharon, na nyinyi wote nasema karibuni. And especially kwa hii mwaka dhimu yetu ya guild. So what I'm going to do in the next maybe 20 minutes ni kumshukuru Mungu na kusoma na nyinyi and also to try and uh, try to dig and understand Idhimu yetu Isaia 43:10 Sababu is a very nice theme So if we can open our books our bible na tusome hapo Isaia 43:10 peke yake I know Sunday tutasomewa yote Alafu leo tusome 43:10 peke yake. Na nikianza kwa kitabu inasema you are my witness declares the Lord and my servant whom I have chosen so that you may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Tumestafsiriwa na Kiswahili. Ninyi ni mashahidi wangu, asema Bwana. Na mtumishi niliye mchagua. Mpate kujua. Na kuniamini. Na kufahamu ya kuwa mimi ndiye. Wana gekoyo? Watu soke tudome na gekoyo? Leto doturero wo Ne inyue aira aakoa Damo dhulire mutuweke dugata siyakoa Nekeza mo menye na mo jeteki Na mo menye ati no nye nyiki gai Tiga nye gotire oge Gotire kwa gea Na gotika gea na oge tiga nye Bwana asifewe So this is our theme It's very uh, nice theme Na ningetaka to underline Mungu anatuambia I am he Vire aliambia Moses I am Who I am Na hakuna mwingine Sababu mungu anatuambia He is the God Na hakuna mwingine He is everywhere He was who he is yesterday Who he is now and even tomorrow And he will never change And this uh, God ambaye Is the one Tunaambiwa that our task today is to be God's witness. Tutuike ila agai. Tutukue wa shahidu wa mungu. Wakunena telling the people, telling the world who God is. And what he has done. What he has done to each one of us. What he has done to our nation. To our church. To our children. Kwa kila mtu. Ata kwa maisha yetu. Since tulipozaliwa tumemuona na njia nyingi sana. Nimeshukuru uh, nyinyi niliona ile skit ambao mmetengeneza. So there are a number of people in the Bible ambao story ya historia yao imewekwa ime pale vizuri kuonesha kwamba they were witness waliona mambo ambayo Mungu aliwatendea. Na ikaandikwa kwa, kwa, kwa Biblia. Lakini tunaambiwa hata wakati kama huu this time even us, in addition to what Kinameri walifanya, Dibora walifanya, in addition to Vire Esther, Ruth walifanya, na hata tu zio tu Kinamama, tunakumbuka mpaka Paul, ambaye alikuwa anawa watu, lakini haka change, and he started and he became a witness of God. Hata na sisi, we are a witness. Na sahi, that is the task mungu wana tupatia. That go ye out there. Ndiyo tumesoma. 
for Isaiah 43 from verse 8 to 13 and also to Kiangalia Acts 1 6 to 11 it's about witness so sasa because I know tutakuwa na muhubiri abaya atatuhubiria ile wakati wa Sunday so my work today ni kunena kidogo hapa na pale so that we understand this witness because we are witnessing about a God that we believe in. Therefore, the first thing is to know who is this God. Is to understand. Na tumjue kabisa. Yeye ni nani. Sababu wezu kaenda kunena juu ya mtu ambaye humjui. Kwa hivyo, iyo diyo our first objective. Our first task. Yeye ni nani. Huyu mungu ni nani. Ni nini anafanya. Na sasa, tukisafanya hivyo. Tujue, hame tutuma to say menini, what are we going to say about him? Because if you don't know somebody, alafu wendo kunena mambo zake, huta elelewa, you may end up doing, saying things that are not right, or only a capacity kadogo. Lakini, tukitaka kumjua kabisa, diyo tunambiwa, we need first and foremost to know who this our God is. Sasa mimi nimechukua ire historia, ama storia ya and a woman ambaye anaitwa the samaritan woman tukikumbuka the samaritan woman kwa biblia yetu ukisoma john 4 verse 4 all the way to 28 tunaona this uh, samaritan woman ambaye alikuwa a gentile hakuwa a jew she was not an israelite Lakini mungu ame tumeona tukisoma hapo mbeleni Isaiah 43. Kwanzi hapo moja all the way. Mungu ana tukumbusa. Hata aliwachana na kina Egyptians. Including the, the Ethiopians. Na watu wakusha itukule. Kama sisi. Na ya kachagua wana Israel. So that they understand him. Lakini sasa... Mungu nae anatuambia this time now. He has come also now for us the Gentiles to know him. Hame kamutuma Yesu Kristo. Ambaya alikufa a few days ago kuringana na vile ukumbusho. Na sasa he has resurrected. Na sasa sisu wote tumeitua kama witness. Tumekuja kumjua Mungu. So that we go out there and tell people. And you tunambiwa go ye and become my witness. Kwanzia uko Judea tu mpaka Samaria mpaka the all parts of the nation. Including hapa Goshen. Including pali tunapaa, tunakaa pale. Kuda tunafanyia kazi. Tunene, tuseme, yeye ni nani. Huyu Yesu, huyu mungu kweli ni nani. Kwa hivyo tukiangalia the example of the Samaritan woman. Sababu, she relates quite a lot with each one of us. This was a Samaritan. She was from a list of people that the Jews are despised, that they said that they, were, they did not have any claim on, 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 on God. This woman, she was an outskirt. Muna kumbuka, si kutaka kusoma Biblia, hapo vaza, lakini mutaenda musome, lakini hii historia, ni vile Yesu nae akakuja, akaenda pale, Na hidelea mtu miyoshi o maasha manirie. Hake taha maai. Na hake tuka wako muho ya maai. Na hake jisu hake muera atiriri. Ate we maai maria ena mo. Ni maai maamuwe. Na mtu miyoshi o netodo. Netu igu waka ate. She was unmarried. She was immoral. She was under trust. Ni hatu kita wako ora. In fact, mtu huli ureale na hake alo waka taada tu. Na jisu rea mwolirie na beteta kwa muhe niya. No, I saw a Kemura Hidaka or the Nanigo Amenire, Oyo no Mohaka Pro and Messiah. Now, Mara Gana Jesu, Agokakudura, who Jesus was. Now, Casemata and Mimi Nikataka on the Patio Yumaja Zima, Amilele. Naya Esu, a Kampatia, Na Kampatia Wokovu. Naya Akaludin, a Kaenda Haraka, a Kaenda Kaeneza Ijiri. Wawa to Ambao, Wauko Kuao, Ambao Hawaku and Amjua Mungu. And many of them wakamkubari wakam yesu kama mokozu wawo. Sasa, sisi, 
Na sisi tumekaa kama huyu because in the spiritual world tulikuwa tumepotea. Tulikuwa tumeshikwa na shetani. Tumekuwa hata tunafanya mambo ambayo sio mzuri. Many of sinful uh, uh, activities, wicked activities. Hata wakati mwingine tujalikuta we are angry. We have uh, not very good to our neighbors. Kuna siku zingine we are mandarins in one way or the other. Na hii mambo yote ndio Mungu anatuambia sasa tumekuja kujuana na yeye na sasa confessing our sins so that we accept Christ Jesus. Sababu the only first thing for you to witness God is to accept Christ Jesus as your personal savior. And then from there then you can be able to do quite a number of things. Like this Samaritan woman, first and foremost, she had to overcome her cultural background. Hata na sisi, we need to overcome our uh, cultural background. Yale ambao tunaelewa, tuachane nae. Yale ambao ni anduniani, tuachane nae. We have to listen to the gospel message. Ambayo yesu wanatupatia. We have to accept this gospel. Na kisha uh, accept the gospel of Christ Jesus. Tukisha abandon all the earthly life ambao tumekuwa nazo tuachane na mambo ya hapa dunia tuachane na to be confronted by the things of the world to be uh, controlled by the sinful nature tuachane na the uh, uh, schemes na mambo ya, ya dunia naye Mungu tukimkubali then we shall become the wit a witness a good witness of kusema kweli Yesu anafanya na sasa tena to abandon mambo ya hapa duniani to abandon maisha mambaya hapa duniani so that we can be able to continue and to say who this Christ is and to continue saying what he has done for us two things we can learn in this uh, kind of a story the first is the principle of true love because to me one of the most important thing yesu mungu anataka to witness out there is to witness the true love of God because Mungu anatupenda na Mungu anatuambia anga that he is love himself so the first thing we can witness the first thing we can tell the people out there is the love of God how much is the love of God yeye ametufanyia nini alituma mtoto yake akakuja hapa akakufa na akafufuka simply because of our sin so that tukafongiviwa and then we were made clean and by that then we became uh, children of god children who will be able to inherit the kingdom of god not because to be kwa watu wazuri it's simply because of the love of god now this is a very important thing that we are supposed to witness twende tuambie ambao tunakaa nao kama ni our husbands our wives our children they should understand and we should be able to show God in who we are so that they see each one of us they see God so God must reflect in our lives so that your husband akikuona anaona Mungu mtoto wako akikuona anaona Mungu bibi yangu akiniona anaona Mungu how by accepting the love of Christ first and foremost and then allowing the holy spirit of God to transform each one of us so that when we are transformed then we should be able now to understand the will of God and the purpose of God and especially his purpose for love we are told love one another we should be able to love one another love your neighbor and you cannot love your neighbor if you don't love God first love God with all your with all your soul with all your might and then we will be able to share that love because that love will reflect in you god's love and then you can be able now to sh to show that love to other people so that is the number one witness however the first thing is to understand god to to know who god is and then once you know that to go out there and witness the love of christ jesus the other two number two is the true worship true worship those children who worship him in 
truth and in spirit. And this is the most kitu ambayo ungetaka upeane uonekane na you witness out there that our God obviously first and foremost require us to present our bodies as living sacrifices holy and pleasing to God because this is a spiritual act of worship na tulisema hapa siku ingine that we should worship God for what he is we should worship God for his love for his justice <coughs> righteousness kindness <coughs> for his grace na sasa the most important thing <coughs> would be now where you are going out there na kuonyesha and to witness kweli Mungu wetu ni Mungu wa amani ni Mungu wa upendo ni Mungu abaye he is very merciful god he is grace, uh, uh, gracious god he is kind he is righteous he is holy how by reflecting this in your life so that what we kuona you should be kind enough you should love one another you should be also be able to be humble the traits of christ the image of christ himself saida tunaenda huko mtu anaona mungu mtu anaona uh, mungu anaona anaona yesu na ndiyo tumeambiwa tukisoma acts ambayo is second reading in your this year's uh, guild week program itasoma only act verse 1 and 8 verse 1 8 but you will receive power when the holy spirit comes on you and you will be able no you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth kwa hivyo Yesu mkumbuke just this is the time after the 40 days and then there was time came and he, were, he had to go back to heaven lakini akasema hataenda tu hivyo hata tuacha tu hivyo atatuachia roho mtakatifu atatuachia msaidizi wetu because you will not know god you will never witness true god if you do not have the holy spirit in your life so the first thing is to accept and to be baptized by the holy spirit of god if you are baptized by the holy spirit ni kumaanisha that he dwells in your heart when you allow god the holy spirit to come and enter in your into your into your into your heart and rekindle you and change you and transform you transform me by the renewing of the mind such that we are no longer conformed to the issues of the world with the body this physical body that we are not under the sinful nature we are no longer under the uh, the scheme of the evil one of of satan that satan will not now manage to control us because we have given the holy spirit hiyo nafasi sasa dio atutengeneze atu atu transform so that la, rather than being uh, read by the sinful nature we are read by the spiritual nature naye roho mtakatifu akikutengeneza you become a different person the first thing that he will do is to teach you because he, we we know and he is telling us he is the teacher who teaches the truth and the truth is very important is the truth about god who is this god this is a faithful god ambaye akisema kitu anatenda is a god ambaye akisema a promise anaitimiza ni mungu ambaye ako na nguvu beyond everything beyond any power any authority any dominion yeye hakuna kitu ya kumfanya aanze kubabaika ni mungu ambaye hata ukiwa na ugonjwa mungu ako na na ile nguvu ya kuondoa magonjwa yote ako na nguvu ya ku heal each and every disease each and every sickness yeye ni Mungu ambaye hata shetani akikuja na whichever uh, way he is able to understand and to defeat and to be uh, triumphant about, uh, 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 against the evil one kwa hivyo sasa wewe na mimi hatuwezi tukajua haya until we accept the holy spirit to be in our lives 
to change each one of us, to control our body, to control our lives. How? By walking in, uh, with us. If the Holy Spirit becomes your counselor, if the Holy Spirit becomes your comforter, if the Holy Spirit becomes the, your assistant, that he assists you, he becomes the, the helper. Ukiwa na shida, hakuna kukimbiria sangoma. Ukiwa na shida, hakuna kufikiria mambo zingine. Lakini unaangalia mungu, unaangalia Holy Spirit, unamuambia, even when I am weak, I know that where we Holy Spirit, you know me, you know the will of God, you understand everything, and then he will be able to come and pray for you. Sababu yeye anajua kila kitu. Anajua hile mambo itatendeka. Anajua whatever you are going through. And he can be able to intercede for you. Many other times you want to pray, lakini wehawezi. Just give yourself to the Holy Spirit and then he will do the rest for you. And it is only then, then you can become God's witness. And it is only then that you can be able to go out there. Go out there in Jerusalem. In all Judea. In all Samaria. Go out hapa Goshen. Sasa, your neighbor, my neighbor, anza kuona Christo. Anza kuona a Christ image in me. My wife pale, anza kuona na kweli, Baba Shadow may change. Hey, na kweli, there is love in this guy. Na kweli, huyu mutu anza kufanya uh, mambo mzuri. There is kindness, gentleness, there is faithfulness. Haya mambo yote. Sababu, the most important witness, ni ile wewe mwenyewe, ile life you, you are reading, that becomes a very clear witness about what? Watu wakikaa hivi, wanaona mungu. Kulikata na vile unafanya, wanamuona mungu. This is the most important. Na, according to me, what we should do very the most important thing is to understand God because we can only become faithful witness when our relationship with God the Father, our relationship with God the Son Christ Jesus, our relationship with the Holy Spirit is very, very strong. And if we live lives worthy of our calling. Kama sisi ni wana guild, there is a calling. What is this calling in guild, in woman's guild? Tuna paswa tukae kulingana na muito wetu. Na kulingana na mapenzi yake mungu baba. To the extent that whatever we do, whatever we say, whatever, wherever we go, whatever we do not want to say, reflects the character and traits of Christ Jesus. Sasa ikiwa hivo, then, ata before you even go telling people already you have witness with your deeds watu watakuwa akisema na kweli kuna Mungu kama ni nani anafanya hivyo kweli kuna Mungu si ni kweli that you are not happy when you see your enemy going down wengine wanasema wanaiba hata wakae dio waone enemy zao waone wakienda wakienda hapana ugetaka kulingana na Mungu Mungu hataki hiyo Mungu is a god who loves the enemies who loves everybody who has no mapendeleo yoyote that is the only thing way we can do by accepting Christ Jesus and then accepting to be baptized again by the power of the Holy Spirit so that sasa tunaanza kuona mambo in a different way. And uh, that is the most important thing. So, do people know what God is like through, through your words? Watu wanaeza kuona mungu kuligana na vile unatamuka, vile unasema, wanamuona mungu. Wanamuona shetani ama wanamuona mungu. Kupitia yare ume, umeongea. Wanamuona mungu ama shetani kupitia yale ama pale unaenda. Pale unakataa kuenda. Wanamuona mungu. In your deeds. How do you help others? Are you kind? Are you gentle? Are you faithful? Because if you are faithful, you are kind, you are joyful, you have, you have peace. You are humble. You have self-control. What wana muona mungu? If you are mandarous, handotless, if you are wicked, if you are uh, a corrupt person, a thief, a drunkard, what wata muona mungu? So you are witnessing different things. Mambo za satani. Lakini if you want to be the proper person, Witness about Christ. About this, guy, this God who is telling us, He is, I am. 
He is self-sufficient. You don't need anybody else. Ama usaidizi mwingine. He is self-sustaining. Hata kukiwa na mambo gani, depending hata kama tunapitia tribulation gani, yeye he is sufficient. He is everywhere. Na bila kukumbuka kusahau that he was, he is, he will be all the time. Imanishi, you don't have to change. Ama kuenda chini. Depending on the situation. When you are together with other funny characters, una change. Apana. Kwa hivyo, let us tell people what God is capable of doing. Let us tell people, let us be witness about the power of Christ. Na sana sana that Christ Jesus has power to save. He has power to get people out of devil's bondage. Now the only way to go and this is to become good witness. Mpaka watu wanaona na kweli ningetaka kuokoka kama fulani. Na wanaokoka wanaachana na mambo za dunia. Sababu ya our the way we we put ourselves as an, a good example of Christ Jesus as the image of Christ so that Mungu our save through our, our deeds for I mean our, the, way, the way we we link with with them wamkuja wamkumpenda Mungu lakini above all just to to understand that God is a good God who has done quite a lot na ametupatia na ametuonekania na tungetaka kueneza hii injili injili ya Yesu ana, anaponya Yesu anaokoa especially to the people ambao hawamjui Mungu huyu Mungu ako na power above everything about every dominion about power and he has given also this authority to us that we also have power and authority and, and uh, above and against all scheme of the evil one kwa hivyo hakuna kufia mambo zingi ambayo labda shetani anatuletea so we should not fear kwa hivyo tukifanya hivi then we should be good witness today nilikuwa tu nataka kwanza kuangalia hiyo maneno to understand who is this god and nimesema you can only understand god fully by having a good relationship with the holy spirit of god so that he becomes part of you he indwells in your heart the indwelling of the Christ of Holy Spirit in your heart will change you, will transform you so that you understand who this God is. Because he will give you the spirit of clear wisdom, the spirit of knowledge, the spirit of counsel, the spirit of fortitude, the spirit of self-control. Because you need that self-control to be a good witness. Ole ni ge modwa kwira kiugo ute bao omole hele dena ondo mara mo de madoka itugo so god bless you mimi nitafika hapo na i hope uh mutakuwa na a very nice na sisi because i'm also part of you week a guild starting today all the way up to the peak ambaye ni sunday na sasa hiyo tena tukuje the good witness ingine ni giving because to the worship is about what you do from monday to sunday monday be kind to your people be kind to your father to your mother to your parents to your children to your husband to your wife pari unaenda kazi the same kwa matatu kuwa mtu mzuri onyesha ye witness mzuri ya mungu ukirudi Ukipatana na mtu akona shida, mwambie Mungu anaponya, Mungu anatoa hii mashida. Believe in Christ na kila kitu itakuwa sawa. Enda tembelea wana wenye wa hospitali, wenye kwa kwa uh, orphanage. Tena come Sunday. The greatest worship Sunday ni corporate worship where we come and sing, where we come and say who our Lord is, where we come and give kwa hivyo tutatapeana si ni kweli kama tumeambiwa kila mtu ni 10000 hakuna shida tunatafuta hata kama ni kalon chukua mungu atakupatia itakuwa ita tu sawa sawa si ni kweli
Tusiseme ni 5000 kila mtu tena hiyo siku 1200 hakuna mwingine sababu this is the day ambayo tumejitayarisha a whole year one year and we require this amount to do the many activities ambazo ziko mbele zetu si kweli sasa with those few remarks mimi ningetaka tumshukuru Mungu kwa tukupatia siku ya this year this uh, another week ambao ni the week of guild activities and uh, by the name of the or the power of the holy spirit mimi ningetaka to say that we have officially launched the guild week 2021 in a particular guild week ya goshen god bless you